The outbreak on New Davenport has been dubbed the Hatter's Flu after the violent madness it causes in those infected by the virus. The ENF has established an interdiction blockade to prevent ships infected by the Hatter's Flu from jumping away and spreading the contagion. Three weeks after vanishing while en route to Captain Star, the Nevea is the latest ship to be declared missing in the nebula. Should we restrict traffic to this region of space? The Elmore Mining Corporation has opened another refinery today in order to keep up with the demand for Yukasuk. The company has seen record profits since they became the sole provider of the rare mineral. Admiral Yusuko's personal life has always been clouded with secrecy. Tonight we will look into the life of the woman who defends our planet. Coded Transmission Studios prepares to celebrate its 340th anniversary. The Machinima Expo 2340 promises to be their biggest yet, with a month-long event celebrating the historic animation style. Ed Josh Snow's latest film about alien contact has broken all box office records in the four weeks since it launched at the Unity of Species gathering on Mars. He said he felt humbled by the dedication of his fans. A probe sent to the Epsilon Eridani system has arrived and begun transmitting its findings. Experts say of the five planets, one may be suitable for human life. The Restore Earth Foundation today announced its latest plan to reverse environmental damage to the planet would have to be scrapped following the blockade of New Davenport. The scheme involved importing flora from the now-quarantined world. Popular television show Lampyridae has been renewed for its 20th year running. Today, members of the space tourism industry blamed the recent drop in public space travel on the Hatter's flu outbreak on New Davenport. Executives urged the government to find a cure before financial losses become irreversible.